What is a judiciary? Judiciary. A judiciary is a group of men and women who are appointed by the government to oversee the the rule of law and to make sure that the rule of law in a democracy is supreme. Um, they are the independent arbiters of, uh, of disputes that come before them, whether it's civil law disputes or criminal uh, law matters. Uh, they must ensure that the proceedings through which these disputes are going to be resolved have to be fair and unbiased, and that's their job. How do I invoke my right to remain silent? You have to vocalize it by saying I'm, I'm invoking my right to silence. Uh, as a citizen is entitled to do. And it's, it's a constitutionally protected right. You'll sometimes see it at uh, committee meetings in the House of Representatives, uh, Senate meetings where um, corporations are brought before the Congress to answer questions like you know, uh, uh, Enron scandals, things like that, tax uh, issues, uh, pollution. Uh, if certain questions are put by committee chairman or members of a committee to a, a CEO of a company, uh, that CEO can say that, that uh, on the advice of their, of their counsel, that they're, they're invoking their right to silence and not to particularly answer that question because it may incriminate them in some way. What is the standard of proof in a criminal case? Uh, in criminal cases, standard of proof is beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, that it's, it's hard to quantify that. In civil law, it's 50, 50, 51, 49. That's kind of the, the, the margin. If you're, if you're slightly over that, you, you're, you're there. In criminal law, that's not enough. It has to be beyond a reasonable doubt. In percentage terms, you'd be, you'd be talking 80s to 90%. It doesn't mean there can be no doubt. It just means that, that as far as the judge is concerned, or the jury, there's no reasonable doubt. But it's a very high uh, standard to reach. It's much, much higher than the civil law jurisdiction. What is actus reus? Uh, the actus reus is, is the guilty act. That's the wrongdoing. Um, in theft, it's stealing. Uh, in uh, an assault charge, it's the punching of the person uh, causing the injury. Um, in public order offences, it's brawling on the street. Um, in, in, in offences where you're being charged with uh, engaging in abusive conduct in public, it's shouting abusive obscenities. Drink driving is the act of being behind the wheel of a car, driving while intoxicated. That's the act of race. In, in all those situations, um, except drink driving actually, mens rea, the intention to commit those offences is, is necessary. In drink driving, there is no necessity to prove that you intended to drink and drive. What is the burden of proof in a criminal case? Uh, in a criminal case, the burden of proof rests with the prosecution. They have to prove that you committed the offence and they have to prove it to the standard of beyond a reasonable doubt. So the, the burden is with them all the time. Uh, you, the defendant, don't have to prove anything. You're not obliged to, to uh, prove your innocence. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to give evidence and nothing can be um, inferred from that uh, refusal. In fact, it happens quite a lot. People don't do it. The, the prosecutor must prove that you're guilty beyond a reasonable doubt uh, right the way through. Uh, there's nothing, no requirement on the defendant to prove anything whatsoever.